Good morning, everyone. I know it's been a little while. I hope everyone's doing well. Yeah, nice little unit today, a little baby unit. It's got to do a headmaster valve replacement. I guess this valve isn't isn't working right. Another tech was here. So I guess it's bypassing and not keeping the head pressure at the right, right setting. So we're going to change that out today. I got all my stuff here. I'm just going to recover the gas first. It's funny, I, that's my writing there. I put this compressor in over... Over five years ago, I didn't even remember I did it. But yeah, put that in years ago. So, just gonna start recovering the gas, boys. So while the gas is recovering, here's the old valve, guys. You can see the new one, same numbers and everything, but this one's got half inch fittings on it. And this one's 3 eighths, so I gotta go run to the supply house, get some half inch to 3 eighths reducers or bushings or whatever so this will fit in here nice because i don't want to crimp these over or anything i want to put it in here nice so go run and get those bushings i'm gonna start by taking this out i'm gonna put in a new dryer of course new side glass as well side glass it looks like crap here so we put a new one of them in too all right guys so i got the old valve out got that sitting down cooling in the ice you made a nice little indentation there <laughs> So anyway, this is gonna go in like this. I got my reducing bushings. Now remember, I don't know if you can see, you got D, R, and C. D is gonna be here for your discharge. R is gonna be here. I mean, down here going to your receiver. And C is gonna be going to this line coming out of your condenser. Um, I got all the videos on my channel, guys. If you look back on Headmasters, how they work if you guys are interested in um, checking those out but essentially what it does this is set for 180 so if this is not maintaining 180 pounds psi on your high side going through your condenser and into your receiver this valve will open up and it will bypass down through here into your valve and then out into your receiver it'll let a little discharge gas in to mix with the liquid to keep your pressure up at around 180 psi that's how those work, and it's just a little little sensing bulb here. A sense of pressure and everything. So, kind of works like an expansion valve in a way. But that's really all they do, is to maintain a head pressure in cold weather conditions. And it's winter here now, and it's cold, so this will definitely be working today when we get this in. All right, so you can see now, guys, I got my reducing um, bushings in here. They aren't couplings, they're called reducing bushings, because they go inside, not on the outside. So. Pop that in. That brings us to our 3 8 lines. It's gonna fit nice. Get that all in there looking good. That's all it is. Like I was saying before with the D, R, and the C guys, this is gonna go in this way. You gotta put them in the right way. You could easily make the mistake and put them in backwards. I've seen them in the wrong way before. So always make sure you know what line goes to what. Cause if it goes in backwards, it definitely ain't gonna be working right for you guys. All right, so that's in cooling down. What's nice about the winter is we got ice on the roof, so I take ice and cool off the pipes and everything. Cools it right down. I already got the thing wrapped anyway, but it's nice when you get ice and snow, too. We cool everything down nice and quick. Protect that valve. <laughs> All right, so I got the old dryer and sight glass cut out, guys. Just going to braze this in, and we'll be ready for a vacuum. Always, um... I'm just going to use a wet rag because that's all I got here. Use your hot block or something. Always wrap your sight glasses, guys, because you can heat these up real quick and they'll turn black. And you can't see in them. The indicator won't work. You could also crack the glass. I've seen the, gra the glass crack too and then they leak. So always wrap those up when you're brazing. All right, so that's all in and done. I know I always say this in my videos, guys, but always make sure your arrows are going the right way. Be coming out of your receiver down inside toward your evaporator okay sight glass is nice and green still stick is not melted that's all hot you know you got something if you didn't melted the sticker or whatever so that's fine same thing on the valve over here too i had that wrapped nice so no melting of the sticker so you know that didn't get overheated and we're just going to put this thing on a vacuum get the gas back in it and start her up 
in case the vacuum police are watching. 400 microns. I'd say that's good enough. This little system pulled right down anyway. This thing's nothing, but yep. Pull it down, guys. Used to 500 microns, you know what I mean? That's what they say to do, so that's what we try to do. I'm just throwing the gas in now, guys. I'm just going in my high side right here. I'm just dumping the gas right into the receiver for now till it equalizes. Then we'll start it up. I don't want to dump liquid in the compressor, especially this little thing. So, which you shouldn't do anyway, even on a bigger system. Let's see if you're charging from empty. Get as much as you can in the liquid side. And then then start adding it through the suction side you can see our solenoids open downstairs it's calling of course the box is warm because i've had it down for a couple hours so the pressure is going to rise up there but it's fine because it's going down the liquid line through the evap and everything so it's not it's not getting liquid right in the compressor so we don't get any slugging or anything like that on startup all right guys so we're all up and running here's our pressures my head pressure is reading a little low my gauges are a little off but I know it's maintaining because I can feel the headmaster working. You can feel on my discharge line, it's hot up here. And this bottom line going to my receiver is warm. So I know it's um, bypassing a little to maintain a head pressure. This is nice and cold here coming out of the condenser. So I know it's bypassing. The liquid line's nice and warm. So it's working um, exactly as it should. So that pretty much wraps it up for this one, boys. it just pump down and shut off a temp i'm gonna fix this crankcase heater too the crankcase heater here is like fell off the compressor so i'm gonna get that back on there too put the cover back on that's it boys all right guys feels good to be back i know it's been a while it's been about a month or so Stuff's been busy here, it's been slow, it's been up up and down with everything. You know, a lot of places are still closed, they're opening again, they're closing, everything's crazy, as you all know. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that, I know guys like the Headmaster videos and stuff, I get a lot of questions on those. Like, I change out a few every year in the winter, you know, because around here they really work and do what they're supposed to do, so you get to really see them working, and you know, see them when they're not working too, so they're basically in every unit around here they have to be in the cold weather it's like 25 out today so not too bad of a day it's been a good day nice easy job heading into the new year i hope you guys all had you know a merry christmas happy holidays and happy new year guys that's coming up i'm gonna try to stop posting more regularly if i can but i appreciate you sticking with me even though i'm a slower channel and can't post quite as often as all the other guys you know i just I can't do it with the places I work. It's just just is what it is. A lot of places I can't have a camera out filming stuff, you know. So, said I hope everyone's been staying healthy and safe, staying busy. You know, it's that time of year too. Things are going to slow down. So, is what it is. Take the uh, relaxation time while you can, I guess. <laughs> but if you're new, consider subscribing, guys, and give the video a thumbs up if you like it even a thumbs down it helps out the smaller channels with uh, especially with youtube's analytics you know a lot of us hvac guys aren't that big so it's it helps it out to get the views and stuff going helps support the channel and all that so again guys stay strong stay safe be good if you got any questions put them down in the comments um i got other videos if you look back on my videos i got over like 60 video guys maybe 70 now uh, but i got other ones explaining headmasters and more depth and detail about how they work so appreciate it all boys and thanks for sticking with me catch you boys in the next one